genital mutilation. So can I just uh, start the conversation again? So. Uh, what, what, before we had this conversation, uh, what, what do you know about FGM? Not, again, not, not, not too much about it. I know it happens in certain cultures and uh, uh, in certain countries, but I've never really heard of it in, in, in the United Kingdom at all. You've never heard of it in the United no, Kingdom? No. Okay. So, a few statistics for you. Yeah. Um, so, there are apparently at the moment 137,000 girls and women in the UK living with FGM. Where you get this from, sorry? This is, I think this is from a Guardian article. Oh wow, okay. This is 144,000 girls at risk of FGM, okay? But what I was Does it wanting... Say what, where, what, what they are? Uh, that's, all I've, that's all I've got it's for now. It's a weak hadith. Okay. okay, but here's the thing. It's a very weak hadith. Come and join us, come and join us, yeah? I don't talk to liars. Okay. So, but what I'm interested, what I asked you again was like, did you do you know if it's Islamic or not? And you weren't sure. Yeah, but again, I, I, like I've been Muslim my entire life, and obviously, yeah. like what I've studied, because when I was young, yeah, I. It's not that's right. But obviously, when I was young, I, 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 I obviously I'm Muslim. And this is the day I was born Muslim. But I didn't obviously look at it and, and just follow, follow it just just mm -hmm. just for the sake of it. Like I follow, I I studied Christianity a little bit, Judaism a little bit, and Islam a little bit as well. That's the only reason why to this day, until the day I die, hopefully I'll become I'll, I'll stay as a Muslim. Okay, but here's here's the thing that I wanted yeah. to talk to you about because we have it from Islamic tradition, yeah. okay, that the Prophet of Islam, he allowed and he approved of female genital mutilation. Let me just read out some of the traditions, okay? This is from Abu Dawood, 41, 5251. A woman used to perform circumcision in Medina. The Prophet said to her, do not cut severely, as that is better for a woman and more desirable for a husband. That's my first example. The second example is this. This is from Muslim, Sahih Muslim, okay? 3, 6, 8, 4. When anybody sits, the messenger of Allah, it's not Jahiliya, so this is actually the message. No, no, this is the messenger of Allah. This is the messenger of Allah. This is what it says. No, no, we know. The messenger of Allah said, when anybody sits amongst, amidst four parts of the woman, and the circumcised parts touch each other, and then he the bath becomes obligatory. Okay, so that's referring to the circumcised parts, plural. That must, to make sense, it means the parts of the man and the parts of the woman. Okay. Uh, how do you respond to that? So obviously we know that FGM was practiced, was sanctioned by Muhammad himself and it was practiced, okay? And we know this also because it survived even to Sharia law for today. Let's let's read uh, this. No, no, this no, is a Sharia law no, manual. Then, we've, oh, finish, finish, then you can respond, then you can respond, okay? This is circumcision, this is what it says in the Reliance of the Traveller, okay? A, a manual of Sharia law. So circumcision is the reliance of the traveller. Circumcision is obligatory for both men and women. For men, it consists of removing, wait, wait that, second, of removing the prepuce from the penis, and for women, removing the prepuce of the clitoris, not the clitoris itself, as some mistakenly assert. So it's very interesting, it actually gives details, okay? It says you can remove the prepuce, but not the clitoris. It actually clarifies what you can and can't do. Hanbalis, these are different schools of Sharia, Hanbalis hold that circumcision of the women is not obligatory, but sunnah. Sunnah means it's uh, highly desirable, okay? Like the sunnah of the Prophet, you follow the sunnah of the Prophet. Well, Hanafis consider it a mere courtesy to the husband Husband. That's reliant of the traveller, page 59. So it's basically what I'm so doing for myself. So can you respond? For me, I'm so I've given you three different Islamic sources yeah. to say that female circumcision, circumcision was ordered by Muhammad, okay, and ordered. it's practiced and it's even Sharia, it's even Sunnah today. To be honest though, going back to the first, first point you, you wrote, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you read something, yeah? Even many, brother, mm -hmm. Even, even, even many people. Yeah, I don't think they want to be filmed as well, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? I know, but I don't think they want to be filmed as well. Yeah. It's okay. Carry on. Yeah. 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 So, like, I was saying, yeah, from everyone here that's a Muslim, you can, you can, you can ask all of us. Yeah, mm -hmm. the first part is a very weak hadith, so no one uses it at all. No How one do you know? You've not even heard when we, we're speaking we over there. We can go to you've that. never even heard of it, and now you're telling me from what source no, that I'm, it's I'm, weak. No, you can't say, "Oh, I've never heard that before." Okay, oh, by the way, nobody right uses now. that. Okay, do you want to nobody go to uses that, and it's weak. Should we go to? Them? No, no. I just want you to just be truthful about I'm what you're saying. Truthful. 
Literally. No, because you've not got any evidence that it's a weak hadith but and nobody we, uses it. Can we go to But here's the that thing, we know, we know that FGM person. happens all over the world. We know that it's a problem. Where are they getting this from? No, you can't say just Muslims though. I'm not saying just Muslims, I'm saying where, you say it where has are justification. I'm, sa I'm saying that it has just... Language is very important, I know that. Very important. How you it use has it, justification in Islam. Okay. Are there, are there other religions? Okay. Of course, maybe. You may, do it. No. But here's the thing. Can you find justification for female genital mutilation anywhere in the Bible, sir? I can tell you right now, nowhere. So you say nowhere in the Bible. Can you say? Can you say anywhere? Anywhere, yeah, it's anywhere it's not that females should be cut? It's it's not nowhere. It's not the same. The Bible is not the same. Any. Any manuscript of the Bible that we have, and no, the Bible hasn't been changed. If you want to take that line, then you have to stop being a Muslim because the Quran says it's not been changed. It was a reason anyway, why the Quran was the brought down. Is, the point is, was there is nowhere anywhere in Christian scripture that says that women's private parts should be cut. Okay. Nowhere. So, what are you going to do? I understand. I understand. I understand that this is shocking. I understand this. But let's let's. My knowledge, yeah, on the Sunnah, yeah, it's only men that should be circumcised. But I've shown you this, and it says differently to what you think. I told you again. I don't believe in the entire thing. But if that was true, then everyone would be doing that now. Women don't do it. Women. A lot of people are still doing it. Six-year-old girls. You can't. This is thing. You can't just say that. When I've shown you from Islamic sources that it's religious. You can't just claim it's cultural. I've shown you now. It's uncomfortable for you to hear. I understand that. I understand that. But it is religious. This is based in religion. I'm not feeling no kind of way because it's not true. You don't want it to be true. I understand that. But this, these hadith that I'm bringing to you, these, uh, these commandments from. Sharia, from Sharia manuals, are you going to argue with them? Are you going to tell me they're not no, true? Not then are you going to go to the mosque where these things are taught and say, sorry, you can't do this, guys? I've never been taught this in my life. Well, then, they, then I don't know what they are teaching you because they're not obviously going back to their own sources. Okay, let's come on. Let's come on. You're a little bit narrow-minded, I think. You've no, got to be open-minded. I'm just truthful. They practice cannibalism here before Christianity in this country. Did they not? Let's get back to it. Okay. That's why I carry on. They did practice cannabis. Yeah, uh, thank you. So, I'm in a different conversation. Thank you very much. Okay. No, so, they have here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. FGM. I think you're a radical right. feminist. FGM. <laughs> I think you're a radical it, feminist. Uh, it has horrific no consequences, consequences for women. Uh, that may be okay. part of it. It's performed yeah, on young children, like some six-year-old girls. Okay. And also, it gives them UTIs. It gives them pain in sex. It gives them pain in childbirth. Okay. It just it gives them psychological trauma. That's why the WHO, that's why I mean, it was made illegal. Uh, it was, you know, have outlawed it. That's why um, it was made illegal over 30 years ago in this country because it's completely barbaric. It has no place in today's society, and yet it still goes on. And we find that it does have justification in Islam. So, what are you as a Muslim? How are you going to deal with this? Are you going to go back and affirm this as a Sunnah practice, or are you going to leave Islam? No. Saying, I actually, as a Muslim, I cannot cope. I cannot. Oh, I don't want to. So, I don't want to. I don't want to. Would she do? Would she no, I, no, I, no, I'm just giving you a challenge. Oh, yeah. I say, I want nothing yeah. to do with this. And because it's justifiable in Islam, I want a different religion. I'm going to follow a different religion. Okay, this is this. This is not not true for today. It wasn't true for 1,400 years ago. So therefore, I'm going to throw Islam out because I cannot believe this stuff. I cannot. I cannot perform these practices. You're both religious people, you see. I'm not really religious. Because because I weird. Yeah. Everyone thinks some some some. Well, you probably believe in it more, how are you than, respond, more than me. Let's yeah, say. of course. Yeah. Okay, um, how are you going to how are you going to respond? What I just said. She's, like, oh, she's a bit so. blinded okay. by. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Please, please interrupt. Because I'm going to finish this. Um, Somalia, uh, Egypt, Yemen. Well, you're uh, picking the Muslim Africa. countries. Okay. Muslim. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I need a map to look at that. The answer is okay, anyway, love. The answer is love. It really like is. Jesus, yeah. so it really is. Not cherry yeah. picking. Tea. It really is. Okay. Love. And I think love. Like, you know, love if you religi if you is just. Jesus, okay, love is just. Okay, you, love speaks out for picking. the hundreds of thousands of girls who've had their private parts mutilated people do this to Christianity. and done in the they name of Islam. That's real love. They anyway. cherry pick things from the past. Okay. They do it to you. I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay. So this gentleman is interrupting. He's being quite rude. Also, he's saying, well, you can cherry pick from the Bible, but the reality is you can go through the, the Bible, the entire like, Bible, in the like, uh, original languages, and you'll like find nothing at all well. about no, cutting no, women's private no, parts. No, no, no. Nothing. I, I can tell you that now. Miss, miss. I know in Turkey, you may be 
I'd nice. like, to, I'd like nice. to finish this conversation, okay? I appreciate you. So is it from Islam? You know in Turkey, yeah. but well. Islam says that. that. No, okay. but, but what I'd like you to when do you is said, I would like you said to, that, oh, it was, I would like for you to example, come to Jesus. Gentleman. No, I'd like you to come to Jesus because what? Jesus cares Man, you don't about listen. these girls. Man, you don't listen. Jesus wants, Jesus Man, treats women with such dignity. I'm trying to be nice. You don't you mean Jesus? Jesus? I'm trying to give you the truth. And I'm, God I'm saying the truly. Well. Okay, if I'm not listening, listen to you, tell me how I've not listened. I don't, know, I mean, I can change I don't need that, to tell you how you've not listened to me. Tell me what, tell me where I've not. Back in this video no, 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 tell me how I haven't listened to you. Yeah. Like, like, let's make that right now. If there's something that I haven't heard you about properly, let's make it right now. Tell me the point where I haven't made it right. Tell me where I haven't listened to you properly. Okay, listen. But see, I do agree with him. He's slightly sharing the picture on where, for example, this gentleman asked you, oh, where is it practiced, yeah? He said Somalia, Yemen, Egypt. The so-called Somali um, um, Muslim countries, sorry. But you forgot about, like, in, in Ni Ni Nigeria. 50% Muslim, 50% um, Christianity, and they, and they still do it. Okay, can I respond to that? Ghana, they do it. Ghana. Let me respond to that, okay? Does uh, FGM happen outside of Islam? Yes, it does, but here's my point. So you cannot justify there. it. You cannot, no, no, we can't. Because you cannot justify it in any Christian scripture at all. So when it does happen outside, but then, unfortunately, well, you not, cannot say that, wait a minute, sir, wait a minute, like, like, you cannot say the same of Islam. You can't say that uh, doesn't happen in church? any Islamic sources, in any Islamic scriptures at all. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that's not what we find. I've given you one, two, and I actually have three, four, five examples, and I've got a three. Okay, I've got this more. Do you want me to do it? No, 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 I'm just saying, we'll say three for the record. From Al-Muhajir said, I was captured with some girls from Byzantium. Uthman offered us his Islam, but only myself and one other girl accepted Islam. Uthman said, go and circumcise them and purify them. Okay? Here's another one. Here's another one. Um al kama related that when the daughters of Aisha's brother were circumcised, the daughters were circumcised. Okay? This is another one. This is from Timidi. Okay? When you give the dead. I, as Uthman, so it'll be like 656 or so. This is what the rightly guided caliphs. So before 15 centuries. Mm. Yeah? Are you Muslim, sir? Yes. Oh, no. Just a minute. <laughs> I'm just talking to you. I did not <laughs> ask you what is your religion. I'm just asking you. Do you believe in pre marriage? Hello, miss. Do you believe in pre marriage? Let's say, let's say, let's say. Um, al Kama, sir. Let's go back to the topic. Can we get back to the topic? Um, Al Kama related that when the. Okay, what is wrong with him? Miss, do you believe in pre marital Yes, yes, then they then they should be so angry. Yes. And cherry pick. Yeah. 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 Sir, okay. cherry picking. Right. Yeah. 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 Here's the thing. No, let me let me let me just say. Let me just say. Okay. About this accusation of cherry picking. How do Muslims read hadith? Hadith are sayings. Hadith are collected sayings. There is no, you know, there's no kind of narrative flow that you pick something out of a, of, a, of a wider bulk of narrative. They're just collected sayings. So those collected sayings, you, they exist on their own terms. Okay, and these, as it were, exist on their own terms. But if we were in any confusion about that, then we have this Sharia manual from today that makes it really crystal clear. You can't say this is cherry picking. Okay, this is like a book of the law. Look at this. Let me read it again. Let me read it again. Okay. Sorry, circumcision is obligatory for both men and women. For men, it consists of removing the prepuce from the penis, and for women, removing the prepuce of the clitoris. Hanbali's told that uh, hold that circumcision of the women is not obligatory, but sunnah. Okay, that means the public. Okay, while Hanafis consider it a mere courtesy to the husband. No, think about that as well. Female mutilation exists as a courtesy for men. Allah wants women to be mutilated for the pleasure of men. This is something history. Seriously, this, is, this for me tells me that I do not want to worship Allah, and I don't think you should worship him either. What I think you should, here's the thing, as a Christian, Christians are not commanded to circumcise men or women. What God wants is our hearts. He wants our hearts. His wife is gone. Look. Let me say what I was going to say to him. This what God wants is a circumcision of the heart. Okay. He, want, he doesn't want us to be marked in our bodies. He wants us to be uh, circumcised in our hearts in the sense that he wants us to be fully devoted, fully set apart for him. And how do we do that? By repentance and faith in the Lord Jesus, who's paid for our every sin on the cross. And female genital mutilation is a great sin. It really offends God. It really offends 
how we're made in his image, it offends how he's made women to be. Okay, and so that is a sin. So everybody who is doing that needs to repent and come to Jesus. It does offend the atheists as well. And Jesus dying on the cross is the only way that we can be reconciled to God. All sacred texts.